What item under $50 drastically improved your life? A meat thermometer, no more guessing internal temps. Perfectly cooked food every time. Similarly, a kitchen scale. I bake bread regularly and rancher than measuring out three cups carefully, I just plop the bowl on the scale, zero it, and dump flour until I hit 500 grams. Much more accurate. Greater than rancher than measuring out three cups that's where, instead of using the back of a butter knife, you level off your dry ingredients with a lasso toss from across the room. A non-stick electric griddle. You can cook a bunch of stuff on that thing. Edit, adding to the list, a coffee maker and a knockoff Yeti tumbler. You can save a crap ton of money that way. A knife for cooking. Greater than for cooking of course. Sweats. An electric mattress warmer with dual controls. It fits directly on the mattress, like a mattress protector, with the bottom sheet placed over it. The mattress warmer makes the bed warm and inviting, especially on cold nights. My BF got me a lucky blanket for Christmas, best present I got. Some $4 nose spray. I used to be a mouth breather. Now my nostrils are fully functional and I don't dream about suffocating anymore edit, I know I shouldn't use it regularly as it's bad for you and causes a type of addiction I have spoken to my doctor about all of this and I use it as recommended by my GP. Thank you for the concern and other options of opening my airways. This is gonna sound really weird, but I swear I've tried it and it's legit, if your nose is stuffed up, get down and do 10 push ups. I have no idea why it works lmao, but I'm just thankful that it does. Because it opens up circulation. The weird effective method I learned is, cover each nostril, one at a time, with your finger and walk for 10 seconds. Then unplug, and your breathing opens up, a really comfy pajama. Preparation H. I'll do you one better. $4, a latch for the gate on the kitchen. Previously it was an annoying little eyelet hook that we were constantly fiddling with. It resulted in some dropped food and eventually not caring enough, so the dogs kept getting in the trash. $4 later I'm amazed at the difference in life quality lol. Seriously though, Velcro and a USB hub with individual power switches for every port. 11 pound capacity digital kitchen scale. For baking, cooking and correctly identifying portion sizes. Squatty potty. I just got one and oh my god. Normally I have to go several times a day because I'm never as done as I think I am. For the past three days, I haven't had to go in the afternoon once. Crock pot. Start it in the morning and food is ready in the evening. A weighted blanket. Do it do it now. What weighted blankets are less than $50? On Amazon most of the front page ones are at least 60-ish the last time I checked in December. Amazon prices vary widely. Just keep checking. I just got one for $35 about 6 weeks ago. Computer mouse using the touchpad thingy on a laptop really isn't convenient and the mouse is 69x more practical. Condoms. I wouldn't have had the opportunities. Antidepressants. My cats. I got them for free, and they improved my mental health. Sure I spent more than $50 on them. But it was the best thing I ever gotten in my life. Or, that is awesome. But you have to pay cat tax here, you know that right? D. Weighing scale, primarily for coffee brewing but has been useful when experimenting with stuff in the kitchen alarm clock, just does alarms better than my phone extended mouse pad, so much freedom especially when playing video games with low sense cheap wireless gaming mouse, no wires, extra buttons turned out to be more useful than I expected, how is the alarm clock better? I don't like waking up for the phone either but I don't know a good alternative. I guess an actual alarm clock feels more organic to me. I also wake up easier. This jar opener. Sneaky MVP in my kitchen for the last 10 years. HTTPS colon slash slash www.pamperchef.com slash shops slash kitchen plus tools slash food plus prep slash jar plus opener slash 2677 B day. How was that under $50? Or did you go on eBay and get lucky?
I suppose if no one else sees it, and there's no reserve, you could still win it even if you only beat a small amount. Painful dude. Painful. A vibrator, water pick. Saved me thousands in dentist bills. No more, excessive amounts of chewing gum, root canals and bleeding gums. Wireless earphones, I now listen to several podcasts a day, I've learned loads of new things and always have conversation topics to use portable blender, I work out just before work so take it to the office with me, mainly for protein shakes it makes them taste actually okay and sometimes I blend spinach and berries into it 3 meter phone charging cable, life changing used barbells and weights second hand gym equipment, means I can work out whenever and don't have to drag myself to the gym plus I don't feel self-conscious or interact with people. What are your favorite podcasts to listen to? Silk Pillowcase I often go to bed with wet hair and when I wake up it's smooth and bouncy. Also less breakage and less fallout in the shower and on my brush. Birth control pills always knowing when I'll be getting my period and it's shorter and lighter with less cramps. Practically free and has vastly improved my life. Front clipping dog harness, for my dog, eliminated pulling and is comfortable for the pup, makes our walks relaxed and pleasant. Blackout curtains. Can speak for the blackout curtains and satin pillowcases. First thing I bought when I was moved to live on my own, again. A $5 pre-owned leather belt I purchased at Value Village in 2009. I wear it every day. Getting a great quality belt is such a good decision. I have my dad's old belt he's had since his wedding 25 years ago and it's still in great nick. About 20 years ago I bought a 3 VHS tape set that showed me this guy, Sepp Holtzer, doing pond and gardens and raising animals in a way far better than I imagined. It has been the core of my life ever since. Sepp is great. Check out Eddie Belakers on YouTube. I've learned so many of my gardening slash growing techniques from him. I describe it as lazy and ecological. This one mechanical pencil that I bought in high school or earlier. I'll graduate college soon which means I've been writing with the same pencil for somewhat 10 years. It fits perfectly between my fingers. I've kept a traditional diary since I was a kid and it has become more and more important since hardly anything requires paper and a pencil today. So many memories from the happiest moments to the absolute worst have been written down using this pencil. I have a few other pencils as well but they don't feel right and eventually I'll put them away and return to my old friend. What's the brand? I wanna buy one. Xbox One controller. I usually play single player, so the trade-off between the better ergonomics and the extra precision of mouse and keyboard is worth it. Makes my gaming sessions so much better and comfortable. P.S. Before your PC purists jump at me. I can see that nothing comes close to the precision of mouse and keyboard for FPS and RTs genre but I rarely play these genres in multiplayer. Against dumb computer AI, a controller will do. I'm PC player. It's great having both options. Overwatch. KB and M Hades. Xbox controller. A coffee grinder. Buying whole beans and grinding them yourself gives infinitely better coffee than buying pre-ground. Buying a $50 grinder will most probably lead to worse coffee than better. Those grinders are inconsistent and lead to uneven coffee extraction. Greater than active in these communities greater than r slash espresso listen to this guy. 3 meter long charging cable. 